And he says, we know that every man in paradise would have 70 hur al ain and at least two wives from this world. So if a man married only once in this world, who would he or who would be his second wife in paradise? Would he be given the choice to choose whoever he wants as his second wife? First of all, Brother Saqib, the information that you have mentioned in the beginning that every man would have 70 um, maids or hurlain in paradise is not true. This is not authentic. What is authentic is that a martyr who dies on the battlefield in the cause of Allah Azza wa Jal, defending the religion of Islam, will be rewarded with 72 of these hur al ain but not the normal individuals. And as for the second part of your question, if he was married once, who would be his second wife? Well, let me ask you this question. If he did not marry at all, who would be his two wives? This is something that Muslims should not be occupied by. See, now you're focusing on the details. And as they say, the devil is in the details. We should focus and strive to be part of those who will enter Jannah. Rather than focusing on details that Allah did not tell us about, nor did his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, such as what would the color of the living room be? And would there be uh, um, bedrooms for the guests or not? Akhi, this is part, yeah, way far from the actual purpose Allah created you. You have to have the conviction that Allah Azza wa Jal would make you fully satisfied in paradise and would make women fully satisfied in paradise and no one would have any grudges, any envy, any hard or bad feelings at all in paradise. So don't focus about these small issues and details. There are gazillions of women who had no husband, who were not married in this universe. And it is Allah's will that they did not get married, uh, married uh, on earth. So they will have someone who is befitting to them in paradise. Who is that person? Allah Azza wa Jal only knows best.